Welcome back to the New York Jets rebuild. We are at the beginning of the 2025 season. I will uh, be making a few trades right now. This is uh, direly needed. Looking at the O-line, I think that we can work with what we have here. We have uh, Mekai Beckton, Elijah Vera Tucker, Tyler Lindebaum, Kenyon Green, uh, David Felili and uh, Knox as the tight end and the wide receivers are two superstars um, Elijah Moore and uh, let me check that quickly I would say it's David Moore but it's DJ Moore so that's nice both of them uh, are, are very productive in combination with Zach Wilson who's gone up to an 87 and we've got Kareem Hunt as our uh, running back. He is uh, a great improvement over last year, Carter. So uh, we will now be looking at the defense. Looking at the defense, we've got a pretty solid um, lineup here with uh, David Ojabo, Nick Bolton, and Aziz Ojolari. Um, I like our safety um, with uh, Troy Edmonds. Over here, I would say that we have a problem as long as Ashton Davis is injured. So I will just wait uh, for him to uh, get fit again. Um, down here, we also have an injury problem uh, as uh, Jordan Davis is injured right now. He will be out for one more week, then he will return. So this is looking good. Um, I think that uh, with Quinn and Williams and uh, Jordan Davis, we should be able to to make some progress um, nevertheless i wanted to just take a quick look at uh, maybe a few possibilities for a trade to improve our our second line maybe just get a bit better there all right we've made a trade we have signed a safety moore and are letting go our own safety wallace uh, third round and second round pick for this year's uh, draft J.P. Moore uh, is a second year rookie from Kansas State with star development. You can see that he's slotting right into the squad. He's the number 12 ranked strong safety in the league. He's got a speed of 87, a zone coverage of 85. He's got great acceleration and great awareness. So I'm pretty happy and he's a, he's a very, very big improvement. Great to have him on board. All right, second deal is done. We are sending our cornerback Whitlock and our halfback Johnson as well as a next year second rounder to the Broncos. We are receiving a superstar development trait uh, cornerback with McDaniels. He's 23 years old. We're gonna be looking at him straight away. This is also a trade to clear up a bit of cap space as uh, Ty Johnson's deal was pretty hefty. So let's see what we got. So we have McDaniels here. We will be moving him up, him up in the pecking order. I want him as my cornerback too. He has a superstar development. He's 23 years old. He's from Ohio State. And when you look at his ratings, he's very quick. He's got great acceleration, great agility, great jumping. What he needs to improve on is man coverage, zone coverage, play recognition, obviously. Um, but he's only 23 years old and uh, let's see what we can get out of him this year. Definitely a massive improvement uh, for our cornerback situation. And uh, with that, I will be stopping the trades now and I will be uh, moving ahead in the season. So we're back at the mid-season point. Uh, we have a fantastic score of 6-0. We are heading the AFC East above Dolphins, Bills and Patriots. That's a very, very nice result. Uh, let's go ahead, upgrade the players. And uh, then just uh, let's take a quick assessment of what our team looks like at the moment. And then uh, we will continue and let's see if we make the playoffs this year. That would be a fantastic uh, result. We have improved the team quite a lot, to be honest. So uh, looking at it right now, we have a, 
uh, improvements on Mekai Becton, Elijah Vera Tucker. I see no changes in, um, in dev traits at the moment here. I do see that Russell Wilson, uh, sorry, Zach Wilson has gone up uh, by uh, four points compared to last time. He was an 87, now he's a 91. I do really like that. Um, DJ Moore is a 99, Elijah Moore is a 98. That is great. Um, on defense, we can see that uh, Jordan Davis is uh, healthy again and he's pairing up with Quinn and Williams. No changes here either up here. Ashton Davis is fit again. And uh, apart from that, I think a defense is working well. Um, I'm a bit surprised to be honest at the very, very good results. Um, nevertheless, let's get going, see if we can make the playoffs. We are here at the end of the 2025 season. We have uh, finished 10 and seven, still at the head of the AFC East. Let's take a look at our results of this season. It looks like we made the wildcard round. That's great. So we started off with an amazing, an absolutely crazy six wins against uh, the Jaguars, Falcons, Patriots, Browns, Bills and Dolphins. Then we had the bye week. We won again against the Dolphins, then a loss against the Patriots and uh, the Giants and the Panthers. Um, all pretty close, all within one touchdown, as it looks like. Uh, then we've got the Bucks a win and a win against the Bills. Uh, loss against the Saints, that's a clear one. Again, pretty close against the Chargers. Clear against the Ravens. Uh, loss against the Bengals. Again, close. That's only one touchdown separating us. And then a win against the Steelers. So now we are heading into the wildcard round against the Houston Texans. Really looking forward to that one. I will be uh, simming these games as in I will be letting the CPU play the game, but I will be jumping in if I have a feeling that uh, <laughs> that the team needs me. So the game has started. Houston straight away on the board. New York Jets strike back 14 and three. Uh, we're in the second quarter now, 14 and six, 21 and six. New York Jets offense seems to be clicking pretty well, being able to stop the Houston Texans. Third quarter, it's 28, 35 and 21. Looks like a safe game, 42, 21. Wow, didn't expect that. And the game is done. Uh, this is the divisional playoff. We will be heading against uh, the LA Chargers. I'm uh, quite excited about this. I did not expect the last game to, to go as well and as smoothly as it did, but uh, we finished 42 and 21. That's a great result for the New York Jets. Now let's head into the divisional playoff against the LA Chargers. The game has started, New York straight away on the board. Uh, then it's a bit back and fro here in the second quarter. Nobody really able to get on the board. The Jets score, uh, make it uh, score twice, make it 21 to seven. Third quarter, 28-14. This is going back and forth pretty much, but uh, seems to be a bit of a battle here. And it's 31-21 and the New York Jets have won the divisional playoff. Great result here. Zach Wilson with a 65.1 completion, 373 yards uh, in passes and three touchdowns. Uh, Kareem Hunt seemed to have a great game as well. 16 carries for 81 yards. DJ Moore, six receptions, 84 yards. Elijah Moore, six receptions, 88 yards. Coming straight off the win against the LA Chargers and a decisive 31-21 victory. It's now time for the AFC Conference Championship playoff game against the Las Vegas Raiders. Let's head straight in. Uh, let's take a quick look at our opponents. We've got uh, Derek Carr at QB position, um, as well as uh, Strong and Kyle Allen. Um, rushing, it will be uh, Josh Jacobs, Matt Cassidy, Adonis Henry, what a name, and Chandler Cox. We need to be wary of Josh Jacobs. He's got a great rating. The fullback is going to be Chandler Cox as well. Um, a wide receiver core, that's uh, Devante Adams after his switch from uh, the Green Bay Packers in 2022. 
We've got Hunter Renfro, Frank McLaughlin, DeAndre Northcutt, Raphael Boyd, and uh, Darren Waller, who's actually a tight end. So we need to be wary of the passing game. Tight ends are Darren Waller, Chris Carey, and Aiden Wolf. Let's take a look at the O-line. Colton Miller and Tracy Ship, John Simpson, Tremaine Ancrum Jr. Andrew James at center and Adam Epstein. What a name. Uh, right guard is Alex Leatherwood and Chandler Hartman. Right tackle, Josh Ball and Tracy Ship. Uh, left edge, now that uh, is Max Crosby. He's a star, uh, star player with an X factor. We need to be wary of him. Uh, right edge is Lyle Joseph and Clay McCauley. That's uh, two rookie players. Uh, D-tackle, we've got Bilal Nichols, Jane Sheldon and Emmanuel Wilder. Left outside linebacker is actually a right outside linebacker with Divine Diablo, Jeremy Davidson, Dontre Taylor. Mid linebacker, Bobby Okereke, uh, Travis Acosta, Jonathan Harris. Right outside linebacker, we've got Evan Kears, Akeem Davis Gaithier and Dontre Taylor. Corners are Trayvon Mullen Jr., Derek Stingley Jr. from the uh, draft class of 2022, Frank McDonald and Jalen Barnett. And uh, on uh, safety we've got uh, Trevor Morick, Zane Anderson, Jonathan Abram, Greg Gregory. Kickers are Cameron Richards and uh, punter is uh, AJ Cole. So let's head straight into the game now that we know our opponents game has started uh, Las Vegas first on the board closely followed by the Jets it's 10 and 3 for the Jets 17 and 3 for the Jets a bit of back and forward but it's uh, beginning to be a clear lead for the New York Jets here in the third quarter 24 and 9 Las Vegas Raiders are not giving up 24 19 oh this is gonna be a close one towards the end but the Las Vegas Raiders have lost against the New York Jets who will be heading to the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl Sunday and it will be the game against the Detroit Lions for the New York Jets. Let's just have a quick player upgrade. Dawson Knox, Steve McDaniels, Nicholas Barton, Jaden Rice, Elijah Moore. All right, each point. Let's just do a quick automatic um, update here. When I do a franchise mode, I do these by hand, but if it's a rebuild, I just let the CPU upgrade them. That works most of the time. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket at the way that the Lions had to take. Um, they had to play against the Bucks in the wild card. Then they won against the Carolina Panthers in the divisional playoff round 42-21. And then a close game against the Cowboys in the championship. And now they're in the Super Bowl against the Jets. Uh, quick recap, we took the way against the Houston Texans, against the LA Chargers and the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, if you look at the star players on the left, they've got Kevin Thibodeau. Uh, he was in the 2022 draft, Penny Sewell and uh, Leno Chennault Jr. So most of that is the same. Uh, we will be going, um, you know, fitting for the occasion, we will pick the um, color rush. Uh, not sure which one we will pick. I think we'll just go with a big green one and uh, be proud of our colors here in the Super Bowl. Let's go. Let's take a quick peek at our opponents in the Super Bowl. QB position, we've got Russell Wilson that we're uh, heading off against, Hunter Fullen and Jared Goff still at the Detroit Lions. Halfback is Kevin Bibbs. Then we've got uh, fullback uh, JJ Mason, uh, wide receiver core consisting of Eamon Ross and Brown, DJ Clark Jr., LaVisca Chanel Jr., Nick Kuhn, Khalil Irving, and a TJ Hawkinson, the tight end, as a backup. So pretty much the same uh, as it is in 2022. Uh, TJ Hawkinson is the tight end, still going strong, obviously. Left tackle, Taylor Decker. Left guard, Jonah Jackson. Center, Frank Ragnow, still there. Uh, right guard is Randy Gillisley. 
right tackle Pene Sewell uh, left edge is Kayvon Thibodeau who they obviously got in the 2022 draft uh, right edge is Ben Curry D tackle is Ali McNeil Trent Gallery Marco Newman uh, left outside linebacker Kendall Ramsey Greg Vogel mid linebacker is Monty Rice uh, right outside linebacker Romeo Quara he's a veteran at the Detroit Lions cornerback is Jeff Okuda same he's also a veteran there now and Mike Hughes Nick Needham are the corners free safety is uh, Justin Simmons Sheldrick Redwine and uh, strong safety is Tyree uh, Gillespie Felix Johnson kicker Ramsey punter Weston we're ready to go so the game has started New York Jets straight away on the board, Detroit hitting back 7-7, 14-7, 14-14, second quarter 21-14, still second quarter, it's, a, <laughs> it's an open faced battle, um, Detroit Lions and it's 28-28 uh, and I will be jumping in for the last quarter, hopefully I will not make things worse, let's go. Let's go with the spacing play here. We are at the uh, at our own uh, end zone. I will be going with uh, more on the slant, and he's got it. And we got uh, the first down. Nice throw. He really pushed in there. I needed a bit of space. Jumping catch. Very nice. All right, let's try a slip screen. I like slip screens a lot usually. If they work, if they don't, it's bad. So let's see what Kareem Hunt can do. And we're opening up, there we go. And things are looking free. That's nice. Good run, we pick up the first down. We're at the 30 yard line now. We are moving ahead. This is uh, looking very good. Now it's time for the two minute warning. 28-28. Uh, let's go with a halfback draw. Uh, maybe we can establish a running game here towards the end. And uh, that's a short run. Kareem Hunt only taking uh, four yards with this run. Let's see if we can get uh, something going on passing again. Um, I'd like to try vertical, go for Elijah Moore. Ooh. Throw in the run, that was not the way to go. Let's try deep stick here, looking at the slant again on Elijah Moore. Maybe I'll go with Deguara. And we've got the first down. That was a very nice run. He was pretty open. Just didn't trust the other option. PA crossers again, Moore, but I'm also keeping an eye on Moore and Mims. That's a very nice catch going out of bounds, stopping the clock at 59 seconds here and a fantastic catch. Let's just take a quick peek at that one again. Looking Elijah Moore really opening up the field here and uh, Zach Wilson waiting for the perfect time throwing the pass at exactly the moment and it was triple coverage but he came away with the catch going straight away out of bounds let's try a halfback mid draw we're at 59 seconds now yeah not much to be had there Timeout called straight away by the Detroit Lions. We are definitely in field goal territory, but I do not want to risk that. I want to score a touchdown 
and uh, really finish this rebuild on a high. And Kareem Hunt going through pretty hard knock here at the back, uh, uh, close to the first down. Let's see, we'll go with the halfback dive. I really like those runs that go straight down the middle. And we pick it up and we're very, very close to the goal line now. I am pretty confident that we will be picking this up, but uh, we'll not risk anything with a throw. Let's go with a 0-1 trap up here. Kareem Hunt can barrel into the end zone. Uh, the Detroit Lions are building up pretty much around that, but uh, let's see what we can do. And he's in Kareem Hunt, very straight run. It was really opening up there. The O-line did their job and it's 34-28 for the New York Jets. That was a great touchdown. Let's look at it again. Spin move at the end, but it was a completely clear running route. No way uh, that Kareem Hunt would let himself be stopped there. And uh, the defense does their job in a pretty exciting way. They force a turnover. We are 35 seconds away from the end of the Super Bowl. And again, the New York Jets on the ball. Let's go here. Kareem Hunt again on the run. And he's smashed, but picks up the first down. 28 seconds. The clock is running down. And uh, I will just let that tick down a bit and then I will be taking a field, field goal just for the heck of it. I could take a knee, of course, but uh, I, I rather um, appreciate, uh, you know, just getting our kickers in there one last time, giving them the chance just to, uh, yeah, pick up a field goal. There we go. That's an accurate kick. Very nice between the sticks and 38 points versus 28 points. It should look decisive on the scoreboard afterwards. You know, not like a close win. And uh, yeah, this is it. The New York Jets have won the Super Bowl against the Detroit Lions. Let's take these images in. Russell Wilson here can't really believe it. Uh, that looked like Sean McVay. That was interesting. Maybe Sean McVay took over the Detroit Lions um, and bringing them to the Super Bowl. Uh, Robert Saleh here. Ah, that's obviously Sean McVay. Um, Russell Wilson can't really believe it. Probably the last, uh, last chance at uh, picking up a ring. When uh, comparing the two uh, quarterbacks, it was a pretty evenly fought battle. Actually, ratings are very close. Uh, completions are pretty close. Um, Zach Wilson managed to pass for more yards uh, than Russell Wilson. Had a lower completion rate, had uh, lower touchdowns. Uh, looking at the rushing, uh, the rushing, Kareem Hunt was absolutely unstoppable with 18 uh, rushes, 95 yards picked up, two touchdowns, uh, great average uh, of 5.2 yards per run. Receiving it was uh, DJ Moore topping the receivers list. 10 receptions, 128 yards, one touchdown, TJ Hawkinson in there as well, then uh, LaVisca Chanel Jr., Kareem Hunt, Basically, DJ Moore and uh, Kareem Hunt made the difference for us. Mekhi Beckton was great uh, when blocking. You can see that uh, the offensive line was uh, very, very tough here, as was the defense. Very happy with that. I'm just clicking through these. You can uh, stop it at any time. So Super Bowl 60 has ended, 38 to 28, winning against the Detroit Lions. Um, this is where I will be ending this rebuild. Um, it's been 
uh, a very, very fun journey for me. Um, my first steps on YouTube. So thank you everyone who stuck with me through that. Um, I will be doing a mixture of uh, shorter, uh, quick and dirty rebuilds. That's basically one episodes. Um, and then I like to like to go into a bit more detail with rebuilds such as these. And uh, after the 2022 draft, I will be updating the rosters and doing a full franchise mode um, with the team that I haven't decided upon yet. So if you have any ideas, just drop them in the comments below. Um, let's take a final look at uh, our Super Bowl winning team. Mikai Beckton, Elijah Vera Tucker, Tyler Linderbaum, uh, Kenyon Green, David Falele and uh, De Guara are tight end. Um, there has to be an injury in there. Usually uh, we have someone else there. Um, our receiver core, um, Elijah Moore, even went up to Superstar X Factor. I guess he really earned that one um, with the Super Bowl win. Um, we have Zach Wilson going up to Superstar Dev. He's 95 now. Um, he really had had a great time. I'm, I'm very happy um, with his performances. I was thinking of replacing him, but decided against that. And I was paid back um, in this season now um, with 5,388 yards and 45 touchdowns. That's a brilliant season for uh, Zach Wilson here. Um, so basically it took him five seasons to establish himself and win a Super Bowl ring. Let's see how that plays out in real life. Um, taking a look at defense next. Uh, we've got Aziz Ojolari getting a superstar X Factor along with Quinn and Williams who's always had it. Uh, John Franklin Myers going for superstar dev. McDaniels had the superstar dev already um, and I see a lot of silver in here only one normal dev player and that's uh, David Green I'm uh, confident that uh, the final changes that we made um, at the beginning of this season were the difference at strong safety and at uh, cornerback um, overall it was it was really fun uh, doing this first rebuild on YouTube Thank you very much everyone uh, for watching, hope you enjoyed it, if you did please leave a like and subscribe, that always helps the channel and uh, yeah, see you next time.